Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's celebration. Today's intentions are for Life Fang's family's intentions. Lamont de Leon in Thanksgiving. Intentions of the family and friends and relatives of Roger. For Liam Howell on for birthday blessings. For Alan and Colleen's intentions. And for the repose of the souls of Jean Chen. Joyce, Dick, and Peter Innes, deceased members of the Arloy family, Jillian Chukwan, Anne Pamela Gantum, and Jim and Jean Healy. Please remember to silence your cell phones. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. He is the Lord, forever His truth shall reign. Rejoice in His holy name. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in His holy name. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. Name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather in the name of our God. Thank God. We're able to gather to celebrate the Eucharist today. We pray God will lead us through this time, open our hearts to Him. God do his wonderful work within each and every one of us. We stand here together as a people of God. Let's be our hearts before this great God of ours. Ask him his mercy and his forgiveness. I confess, God Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have great peace in, in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have been to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the best Mary, I have a vision, all the angels and saints, to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will, glory to God in the highest, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Christ, only begotten 
Celebrate the feast of St. Andrew the Apostle. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you, for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When scripture says, those who believe in him will have no cause for shame. It makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord, who is rich enough, how many ask for his help. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But they will not ask his help unless they believe in him. And they will not believe in him unless they have heard of him. And they will not hear of him unless they get a preacher. And they will never have a preacher unless one is sent. But a scripture says, the footsteps of those who bring good news are a welcome sound. Not everyone, of course, listens to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, how many believed what we proclaimed? So faith comes from what is preached, and what is preached comes from the word of Christ. Let me put the question, is it possible that they did not hear? Indeed they did. In the words of the psalm, their voice has gone out through all the earth, and their message to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. And the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story. And night unto night makes known the message. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span goes forth through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Please stand for the acclamation.
says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were making a net in the lake. When they were four, they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Went on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in the boat with their father Zebedee, and mending their nets. He called them. At once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You hear the call of James and John, Peter and Andrew. They will celebrate the feast of St. Andrew, the great apostle. They are the call that God gave to them, that Jesus gave to them. He says, follow me. They didn't know much about Jesus. They hadn't heard much about Jesus. But just as man, Jesus, standing on the shore of the sea, said, come, follow me. They dropped their nets and left and followed him. Two brothers left their nets. Two brothers left their father, mending their nets, and they followed Jesus. An awesome moment. You see, a radical call from Jesus, a call that touched the heart, the soul of those four men, especially Andrew, whose feast we celebrate today. Those words, come follow me, did a massive work in the hearts of those men. They heard a call. Someone is calling. We're not too sure what it is, where we're going, what you're going to do. It says, come follow me. And that's the call our God gives to us. Do we respond as easily as Andrew and other apostles did? When you hear this call, what do we do? Was well, God has called each every one of us in his own way. He's called us through our baptism. We washed in the waters of baptism, received the Holy Spirit. Remember, when we became a member of the Holy Catholic Church, we became a son and daughter of God, we became a new creation. Our souls were configured to Christ through our waters of baptism. We heard that call. Yes, we didn't hear it, we were a baby, but a call is given to us at our baptism. And later on in our lives, we confirm what is done at baptism, receive the Holy Spirit again when you're anointed. And the bishop said, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you say, Amen. You receive that call again. A radical call in each and every one of our lives to come follow me. Come lay down my life to me. And you know, I'm sure all of you adults here would know, that when you confirm, you said you become a part of the great army of God. You become a soldier for Christ. You mark with the seal of the chrism of the Christ once again, become a member of our church. You're now a full member of our church, and now you're now commissioned to go out to spread the word. The word has been given to you by each and one of us. Those who join us on this broadcast, each and every one of us have received that word, that call from our God. How are we responding to that call today? How are we responding to that call as Andrew and the other apostles did? Are we saying, yes, Lord, I'll follow you? Because they were fishers, the fishers of men, Jesus called them to be. They were fishermen and they caught fish. It was easy to go out fishing. Sometimes they didn't catch fish. As you remember, in the gospel, when they were fishing all night, Jesus says, put out your nets into the deep. And they caught a great catch. Sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't catch. But even you, if you've ever been fishing, you might have caught something, you might not have caught something. But most times you catch something. But that's easy. But think about catching souls. How do we go about that? How do you make that happen in our lives? How do we reach out to others and preach that word as you heard in the first reading? Because you would not hear the word unless a preacher is sent. Hear the word unless someone brings that word to you. So when that word is brought to you, the word of God, how do we respond? We say, yes, that sounded good. Out of the good word, I heard that word, yes. But then we move on our lives. No, but you have to allow that word to take root within us and transform us and recreate us to what God calls us to be. Because God has said, has said calls each and every one of us at a particular time of our lives. I know God called me in my life 
to make a change in my life to come follow him. But I know it took a little while. I must say, I was a little stubborn. So God did a work within me to bring me to this point where I am today. Because I responded to the call. He called said, come follow me in many different ways. I heard a call, I responded. God calls you in many different ways in your own situation in life. He's not calling you to give up your life. We may not be calling you to give up your life to come follow him, priest of religious life, who consecrate the life, the ecclesial communities of our nation. You don't know what he's calling you to, but God is calling. Are we listening? Are we hearing this call to us today? He says, come follow me. Come follow me. Lay down your life. Come surrender to me. I'm calling. God calls us at all times. Are we listening to his call? Are we hearing the words that is it? Paul said in first reading, the preacher, you will not hear the word unless the preacher is sent. Are you hearing those words? Do those words, just you hear them, but you don't really listen to them. You hear them, and they move through your heart, your soul, and continue normal lives. Our God has called us today as we celebrate this feast day of St. Andrew. Look at our own lives and see how could I make a change? How could I be transformed in my life? Because God is calling. He's calling us to be people who gather the flock in. They bring the lost sheep back. There's a shepherd who left in 99 on the hillside. I went to look for the lost one. He brought it back with great rejoicing. We know, as scripture tells us, there's great rejoicing in heaven for one repentant sinner. So, what are we to do? We are called to be catchers of men, catchers of soul. Yes, sometimes you catch some, you could lose some. But as in the fishing game, you catch some, you lose some, you might bring the fish right to the boat and then it disappears. But they keep going. You don't give up. You're on a mission. We're on a mission, all of us, to build God's kingdom, to bring all souls to God. Andrew did his work. God called him, he responded. God has called us now, right now, in this time in which we live in, in this time of the pandemic. God has called us to bring people closer to him because you see what's happening around us. We need to bring people closer to God so they can have that deeper relationship with God and not allow fear to control their lives, but allow the Spirit of God, the Word of God, to direct them. So people right now need the Word of God. The Word of God is needed in each and every one of our lives to be a life source, a life source, a catalyst that moves us on, that brings us into a new relationship with God. Let us today we celebrate the Feast of St. Andrew. Look at our own lives. God is calling. He's calling loudly in our world today. Are we listening? Are we listening to this call to each and every one of us? Are we willing to change our lives? Because remember, Scripture says, Do the hour the moment when the Son of Man will come in His glory, only God the Father knows. We don't know. Jesus the Son does not even know. God the Father knows. So why should we waste time? Let's hear the call. Listen to God calling. He's calling. Let's respond. Let us surrender. Let us all do God's will. As Andrew and the apostles heard a call, surrendered, became fishes of men. Let's do our own way today so we can bring souls to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We stand now to bring on the sessions before God. We pray for our church, our holy Catholic church. We pray God, you bless our church throughout the world. Our church, we assign you peace, you hope. All who make up this body of Christ, all of humanity, hear the word of God and respond to him today. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for all those in need in our nation our world today. We provide for them out of your generosity and generosity of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace among nations of our world. The world may live in harmony and peace as you call us to do. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace in our own hearts. We may be people of peace bring peace to others, and bring souls to our Lord and God. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Pray for the intentions of our Mass. We pray for all the souls to be offered to us in this time of November, as we come to the last day of that novena. Let's pray for all the souls to be offered to us, all the souls in purgatory, who are waiting to be released to enter the kingdom of heaven. We pray for these souls, Lord. Cleanse them, purify them, and lead them to the eternal kingdom, that they will be with you for all eternity. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Pray for ourselves and we hear the word of God and act upon it. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We'll bring all these petitions before we lay them before you. Ask Mary, our mother, to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed 
as we make all these prayers to Jesus Christ, our Lord. sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought, and by giving us the life which we have, which we have accepted through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up our Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right truly right and just a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, the Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have you appointed as shepherds to lead it to the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, the hosts and powers of heaven, sing him of your glory as our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the house. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the house. You indeed hold your Lord upon all holiness. We holy therefore these gifts we pray. I send it down and spread upon them like the two fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he is betrayed and willingly in his passion, he took bread and given thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Give me thanks, he said a blessing. Give the chalice the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When eat this bread and, and drink this cup, proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, we will celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection of you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks, you have held us worthy to be a presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread all the world, bring out the fullness of charity together, France of Pope, Jesus of Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Sir Joseph of Spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, that please you throughout the ages. The merit be who is eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, God the Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. See this command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us up each other a sign of peace. Peace to all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who are called the supper of the Lamb. The table of the Lord is laden with all that you and I need for our journey. He invites all who hunger. He invites all who thirst. And even though you cannot be physically here, still come and receive from our Lord in a spiritual way. 
Let us pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. On the straight and narrow road, can you hear me calling? Calling, I am the good shepherd. Come and follow me. Come follow me. There's a way that leads to destruction, the end you cannot see. Waiting there to deceive you, put your trust in me. The Father sent me to gather and bring his children home. Don't leave me alone in the garden, praying all alone, all alone. Come follow me. Gets lost on the straight and narrow road. Can you hear me calling? Calling. I am the good shepherd. Come and follow me. Come follow me. Mighty God, we pray we may hear your call to us today. A new call you give us today and a feast as Andrew the Apostle. A call to come follow you deeply, to surrender our lives to you. So Lord, lead us and guide us with the power of your Holy Spirit. We always do your will, be faithful to you, all that we do. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we may carry in our body the death of Christ and married to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Happy feast day to every one of you. Thank you. He sent to say he will be coming. Prepare his way, his path next straight. Welcome your king. Be ready for him. Jesus is riding on the wings of the wind. He is walking on the sea to your heart. Repent your sins, prepare your soul, receive the Holy Spirit of the Lord. His presence now makes you His temple, the Lord of hosts come down to rest and save all men. God is your friend, Jesus is riding on the wings of the wind. He is walking on the sea to your heart. Repent your sins, prepare your soul. Receive the Holy Spirit of the Lord.